Frank, your coffee water's out here, son. I know. Well, what you waiting on? Oh, 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 I'm just uh, talking to them boys. Oh, son, when are you going to learn to quit running that mouth and get that coffee? Oh, <laughs> <Okay, buddy>. uh. <laughs> Don't be doing no jigs, son. You ain't got your coffee yet. You might have a, you might tear a clavicle or something. <laughs> no. All right, folks, this is going to be a pretty exciting day for us because we're getting ready to do some different things. And to start out with, we had a absolutely gorgeous sunrise this morning. I was out there and saw the whole entire thing. It don't take long when you got it on a time lapse to watch it all back through. But when it comes to getting ready for a big day we start with a good breakfast and Micah mcgee cooks breakfast so we've got wild hog sausage right here we're getting ready to eat our morning breakfast consists of eating sausage eggs or bacon or scrapple or hog jaw just whatever but today it's sausage day and we're going to eat we're going to get out there and we're going to do quite a bit today and you ain't going to want to miss it these buckets of sausage will feed us three breakfasts. We made 50 pounds of sausage and it all fit into basically six of these ice cream buckets. So we're looking at 18 breakfasts to eat 50 pounds of sausage. And people wonder why I make so much sausage. Now you know exactly why I take the wild pigs when they're given to me. Y'all just went over and cut around the... We well, went over and we one. made silage, two barrels of silage. Yeah, where'd the, where the uh, hay used to be in there? No. Where? We cut right in front of the corn, got our grass. In front of the corn. And there was a patch of, uh, patch of that stuff called beggar's lice. We made a barrel of that. Why? Because we wanted to. Why, why would you do it? I wouldn't need to touch that stuff. Why? It didn't have no stick tights on it yet, son. It was just perfect. It might, it might, it might be all right, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say I don't feel good. You don't feel good? Yeah, you laughing too much to feel bad, son. No, my mouth is so weird, Mike. Oh, well, my mouth would be sore, too, if I run it that much. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to get rid of them Billy Bob teeth, get you some regular teeth, son. Uh, yeah. <laughs> teeth, yeah. You know what we're going to try to do today? We're going yeah. to try to look up online, figure out how to sharpen the blades on the wood chipper, because it's silage chopping time. Maybe tomorrow we'll start chopping silage. Mm. What do you think of them apples? Oh, we got to roll, son. We got stuff to do. Come prepared. Come prepared. Come prepared. Because if you ain't prepared, it may shock your bloomers. Yeah. I don't want to see you looking out of, out of place as a bald-headed hippie not knowing what to do. Like what <laughs> are you laughing about, son? <laughs> Let's go see how this is going. Oh, this is going good. Now we're talking. All right, getting a little bit hot, so we shut the door. Slide that lever in. You want a wood stove, get you one. These things are worth their weight in gold. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Mm. Frank, is it good? Oh, son. Oh, son. What? What is it? What is it? You told me it wasn't hot. It wasn't hot at first. <laughs> you just barely bit off the dip. I bit off the dip, but this ain't not the dip. This is about half of it. Oh, that ain't half of it. <laughs> hey, Dave. Good morning. Pigs are all fed? <laughs> Joe, milk? This done, you done milk the cow? Hmm, what do you do, Frank? Drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, story hours are off, and we're going to just go ahead and eat. I'm going to try one of these hot peppers. By the way, a lot of people have asked me how I get my boys to do so well and how I raise my kids. You, you can't, Frank, you can't. 
Yeah, give them all that hot pepper. <laughs> it's called input output. If you want good things to come out of your kids, you got to put good things in them. And your story hour is one of the best things that you can put into your kids' minds. Good quality stuff. So, here is their website. 987-7879 and ask for a kettle. Or go online and visit our website at yourstoryhour.org. That's yourstoryhour.org. But right now, let's get back to our story. The, the gold, gold medal, medal twins. twins. Josh and Jody's worst fears about Jenny's health were confirmed a few days. All right, it's time for me to try this pepper. You think it ain't hot? You said it ain't hot. You said it ain't hot, and then smoke start coming out your ear. I'll love it. I'll love it. You didn't even get to the seeds barely yet. Here Look go, at mine. Son. Here it goes, son. Here it mm -hmm. goes. Here it goes. Right down, Mom. Eat that. <laughs> I'm not through with it. I'm through with it. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I thought when you got old, you got tough. Coffee gonna burn you. <sighs> hey, Caleb, you like that sausage? Mm -hmm. Good, ain't it? Wild hog. We love Rusty. He killed him a possum this morning, believe it or not, right in the, before daylight. Well, we're up here getting ready to try to figure out how to sharpen these blades. It does help if the uh, bolts ain't rusty. Finally got a broke loose. All right. Open that bad boy up. Is it hitting the tree? Yeah. It'll hold it. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. We got how many blades in here? We got a tree limb stuck in there. We'll clean that out. So that's a blade right there. That's a blade. And it's held on by these. So we got to take them off now, boys. Good luck. <laughs> Getting ready to sharpen them, baby. Good job, Matt. Joe. It says for sale, Matt. Is it for sale? To us. <laughs> All right. Here's my angle grinder and here's my generator. We can't get these to break free for nothing and I don't want to cut the bolts. I can't get my angle grinder in at the right angle. But Matt had the brainy idea of tearing the paper off the back side of the grinder and go in like this and I can get a good angle on it. So we're gonna try that and see how it works. I don't have my safety glasses, Matt. All right, crank her up, Matt. sharp there was about three quarters of an inch of the blade on the very inside that i couldn't get to but we're going to call it good enough i, I got it sharp and i took my hand held file and i knocked the burr off so i think it's going to chop we're going to put this back together right now and we're going to go up here and do a test run on some weeds and maybe a stalk of corn just to see but my main interest is the small weeds and grass. What's it gonna do? So, uh, bring that on up. We had a time on this off. Will it not go? Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, trump it about three times.
smoke. It's a fungus. It's delicious. No, it ain't, but it's good for you. definitely want to be looking for salads videos coming soon and clover planting videos and fishing videos and hunting videos I don't know what all kind of videos Did you say Joel's mean or you and Joel? Joel and me. Oh my goodness. Homemade by boys. Ay, yay, yay. I can't see no wheels, boys. I can't see no tires. <laughs> There's four down there. There's four. Let's get down in here and look. Uh, oh my. We've got tiller tires, ain't it? Yeah. And wheelbarrow tires. A matching set on each side. Oh boy. <laughs> Looking good. Well, you can't beat a deal like that. Did y'all just bore a hole for the ball? Yeah. <laughs> Whee. Well, better than anything the Flintstones could have built, I guess. Wow. Will it back, man? <laughs> oh my goodness got a perfectly good trailer right here but they go and build one in their own self proud of them proud of them <laughs> there goes some good kids I got another kid working on something what are you working on kid Trying to make a two-person bike. Yeah. And how are you planning on doing that? Uh, this is just to make it fit. Okay. You're just going to work on it? Yeah. Try to make it fit? Yeah. Try to make this fit where it's supposed to go. Oh, okay. So well, right now, if you do any good, we will come back and uh, investigate further. How's that sound? Yeah. All right. Boys with imagination, don't stifle it. All right, time to hook up to the bush hog. Oh, we got, yeah, we got to take the boom pole off. Thanks. We used that boom pole when we were weighing the silage barrels. Uh, pretty interesting. One barrel weighed a 202 pounds, one weighed 196. We're excited to see how that silage turns out, but that's for the pigs. We're getting ready to make silage for the cows. I can't raise it till you get the big bar on, man. Watch your head. I thought that was going to fit in there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Help him there, man. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to raise it up and you get the pins in. Get off, man. Help him push it. Beautiful. Thank you, boys. All right. So what the deal is, is this field of corn is not ready to make into silage, but we got a field that is ready. 
but we make the silage here, so I'm going to actually bush hog a place for us to chop tomorrow. <laughs> How long did you wait? About an hour and a half. Oh boy. At least 15 minutes. Let me say something right now. I'm glad because Matthew wanted to eat my favorite piece of groundhog. Probably I'm that piece right it. there. <laughs> you still gonna get it? No. Oh boy. Yeah, he's gonna get it. <laughs> oh. I'll get you a piece of possum. I want you to just, I mean, groundhog, I'm sorry. Groundhog, groundhog. Who caught this groundhog? Me. Cool. <laughs> still in head of you. I got a possum. I got a possum and a raccoon. Yeah, but you didn't snare it. Well. I got a snare. Yeah, well. Hey. Let's not argue over semantics. <laughs> oh boy. Yummy. Joe. Oh, never mind. See, this is a piece I wanted. I didn't your You didn't want this piece? Mm -hmm. I don't know what I got. I got a piece of ribs. Mm -hmm. Is it good, Joe? Yeah, it's good. Yep, it's good. Mm -hmm. Ribs are good. Usually, if the ribs are good there, it's all good, right? Joe, pay me to have a phenos. I are needing some of that great heat. That Frank couldn't handle. What's that, Mary? What's that, Mary? What's that other stuff, Mary? Where? Red stuff. Mm-hmm. She said the tomato was cooking. Cooking? Ooh, mashed potatoes. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you. Now that's a plate of food if I can work on right there. Mm-mm-mm. Caleb, are you eating your food, kid? What's better? This is better. Groundhog is better than coon? Yep. Well, I mean... You heard that, why? folks, Mary. Mary said groundhog is better than coon. Just because I caught it. <laughs> oh, right. Hey, the possum is better than coon. Uh, I think coon. possum is better than a lot of animals. Right? What about deer? I got them looking over both sides of my shoulders here. Is that better than possum? Hmm. Hmm? Maybe it depends which part. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mountain oysters are better. Mm -hmm. I would like 
to stay unanimous, if I may. <laughs> anonymous. <laughs> 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 what? That's just some jalapenos. No! <laughs> Sweet tea, folks. That's a Texas Tennessee tradition right there. Mm. I'll show you folks how tender this rib meat is. That is the meat off of the ribs right there. Mm. People don't believe how good that is. Mm. That's all I had left. Thanks for the good groundhog girls. That was delicious. All right. Part of our day today includes having some visitors here. We've got Tommy. We've got April. And we've got Josiah. I remembered your name. And that is a minor miracle. So, we're out here looking at pigs. They brought their puppy dogs. What's the names of the puppies? Charlotte and Alvin. Charlotte and Alvin, and they are really well behaved. That shocking collar did wonders. Yeah. Sure did. Hmm. Has she tried putting it on you uh, yet? I <laughs> no. I know better because he would use it. <laughs> Thank you for the idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Yeah, any, anytime. <laughs> oh, man. So, the. The pigs, they like to come up here and ask for stuff. And they'll eat any and everything you give them. Wow. Big Daddy Boar's coming. He's an absolute hoss. He's giant. Yeah. David, the babies ain't getting pushed in the mud, are they? No, they ran out. They ran up there? Okay. We've got babies. I'll show you right quick. Oh, he's going to lay down. He <laughs> He is a horse. Yeah, what a hoss. So, did you see the video where we fished with a snake yes. and caught? That yeah. was right here. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't quite this muddy then. Yeah, that was. Um, I had seen that video before. Uh huh. Uh, with the other. The other uh, characters. And oh, yeah. It, I said, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and then when you showed the behind the scenes, I was like. That was crazy, huh? Yeah. You got me the first time. <laughs> Look at them little babies. They got a little place they can get in out of the rain. Those are cute. Cute little things. It's good if they can get over there and get away from all of the others. I yeah. was asking her the other day, and she said it, twice a year if you're going to detusk them. That's a, that's a commitment I don't need. If I'm going to have that problem, I'm just going to eat them. All right, company left to go back home. I got me a peach, and uh, before I started eating the peach, I had to make a quick Facebook reel. I don't know if you realize that I make Facebook reels, and I made a reel on how to take the seed out of a clean stone. Not a free stone, but a clean stone, the tough ones. How to get it out easy. So, now Facebook's going to be the smartest people ever was. Oh, what's for supper, Mary? Uh, I'm not sure. You're not sure? It looks That's good. It. Is something burning? Oh boy, I want to take a closer look. Looks to me like bacon. <clears throat> well, I'm hungry for supper. Yo, man, did you see that bacon that they're cooking? Yeah. Did it uh, look a little crispy to you? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, there's no end to the things that have to be done. But I think that it's about time for me to clock out here with y'all. I got my bed in on the job, and we are rolling. It looks like supper's going to be good and a little crispy, but that's fine. So I'm going to ease on out of here. Tomorrow, we're chopping silage. We're going to be making silage 
at the field that we use crimson clover to fertilize it with. So be looking for it because you know we're going to be videoing and there's a possibility Frank might join in the action. So we're going to get on out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.